Howdy folks, Gingham Jones here, and today we're going to do something. Yes indeed, we're going to compare some inexpensive string section libraries. Up for the task first is the $150 Amadeus Symphonic Orchestra. Then we'll hear Sonobox's Orchestral Companion Strings. This one really varies in price depending on whose door you're at. Sonobox's website lists it for $70, but I picked up the whole film score companion bundle on sale at pluginboutique.com for around $30, I think. Next is Spitfire's BBC Orchestra Discover, which is technically $50, but can be obtained for free at the moment. The free Spitfire Labs Strings patch is next, and lastly will be the also free Virtual Playing Orchestra Library. I threw together about a minute of music for this video, the MIDI data for which has been copied for use with each library. No processing is involved except the use of the reverbs included in each library. Let's dive right in.
Okay, and here for some reason the virtual playing orchestra decided not to play all the MIDI data, so let's listen to that again. If I learned anything from this test, it's that copying MIDI data will not produce the same results in each library. This piece was initially written and programmed with the Amadeus library, and I feel that it fits the best out of all these for this particular application. The BBC and Labs both seem to have trouble keeping up with faster playing on the sustains, and I feel they'd be better suited for longer drawn-out notes. Same with the Sonavox library, it just feels weird to play the melody lines with it. The attack of the notes feels unnatural. It does have an envelope shaper, but I'd rather not have to mess with it. Also, the orchestral companion strings doesn't allow dynamics control with the mod wheel, which is a very handy feature that's to its detriment not to have. I'm thinking I'll cover the film score bundle at a later time, though. The virtual playing orchestra, I think, could have produced some better results if I'd finessed it a bit more, but for some reason it had the odd issue of not following all the parameters of the MIDI data. I had this issue multiple times, but didn't experience it with the other libraries, so it's either something in this library, or something about its interaction with Studio One. But enough of me rambling. Which did you think sounded the best? Let us know below, and thanks for watching.